apartment alone. It's a shame that we couldn't go to UMK's wedding, Rob Robot, all because of our identity is supposed to be kept secret. Bear in mind, Andy, you did got into trouble for being in the public on your own before. Kate would have invited us if the authorities didn't hold us back. It's all as was I swoon't I fault for reporting me on the community news that my identity has been identified when I accidentally stole and toys from the entertainer. If the news didn't found out, maybe we wouldn't have to stay at the apartment while everyone else is at you and Kate's wedding. It's all of my fault for stopping you from going to the wedding. I am terribly sorry, Rob. Hey, hey, Andy, nobody is perfect. Just because we can't be at the wedding, it doesn't mean we can't have fun here at the apartment. Well, I suppose we could have fun at the apartment. What would you like to do? Well, how about we play high and seek? We never played high and seek before and nobody we know at this place has played high and seek either since they've moved into this building. Well, okay. Who should I and who should find? How about you hide, Andy, while I count to 30? Okay, okay. I'll get hiding now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know where I'll hide. In Paul's office. I'm so happy for Hugh and Kate Beth Bumbler hug and Natasha Pooley. I can't believe they're officially married now. I can't believe so to Karen. I've came to the apartment to help you and Natasha to carry the wedding cake to the party lounge not far from the church where Hugh and Kate got married. It's a shame that Andy Alien and Rob Robot couldn't be at the wedding. I know they would have loved to be there, but their identity is supposed to be kept secret like Paul Perkinson mentioned ages ago. I'll help you and Beth carrying the cake over, and then I'll come back here to see how Andy and Rob are, and I'll also leave the two of them a piece of cake each so they don't feel completely left out from today's events. Maybe when I might get married at some point, I'll have a wedding party at the party room on the seventh floor of the apartment so Andy and Rob can come and join in the fun with us and they won't feel left out from creating wedding memories with us anymore. I may consider that too if I was having a wedding of my own. 27, 28, 29, 30, ready or not here I come. Andy? Um, hello, Jonathan Jack. Was that you? Hello. Um, hello. I don't know who you are, but can't you see I'm in the middle of hiding at the moment? Ooh. Sounds like fun if you ask me. Can I be, be, your new best friend, Andy Alien? I am super friendly. There you are, Andy. You'll have to do better than that. Hiding in a room is too easy to find someone. Didn't you hear a voice? Yeah, your voice. No, no, I mean, a disturbing voice. I don't think so, bestie. Is that why you came out from your hiding spot? Andy? Rob? What are you two doing in my office when I'm not around? Don't the two of you know that nobody apart from me is allowed in there? Rob told me earlier that he and Andy Alien are playing hide and seek. It's all because they can't be at Hugh and Kate's wedding. They've only trying to entertain themselves, Paul. Andy and Rob didn't know either that your office door wasn't locked. I am sorry, Paul. I probably forgot. I didn't mean to forget about going into your office without your permission and you not being there either. Well, Andy. I forgive you for apologizing from your mistake, but I would like to have a private word with you and Rob Robot after today's wedding. There's rules and circumstances the both of you need to know more. Oh dear, Andy. I think we really messed up with Paul this time. All because you were hiding in his office and I suggested about playing high and seek around the apartment. 
probably forgetting also that we are not allowed in other people's personal bedrooms, especially Paul Perkinson's. Oh well you too. We can't be careful sometimes. Here. I got the each of you a piece of the wedding cake from today. It's strawberry delight surprise. Me and Beth Bumbler hug made it last week. Oh, that looks promising. Thank you Karen Bessely. I wonder what strawberry tastes like. Hello people, how are you today? I am alright thanks. I thought of today, go for a really nice walk around and just in the quieter areas in the countryside. I just thought, it's been a while since you've seen like a proper walking vlog I think. Yeah, it's been some time. And I thought to just keep the show fresh as well, we're in a different place that you've never seen before, so... Isn't this such a peaceful place, like this? Do any of you have somewhere, environment like this place? Just somewhere similar where you're walking underneath trees, there's a stream, and quiet paths like these. I do still think about that mysterious girl that me and Queen Bee Beth saw a while ago. I had Queen Bee Beth around yesterday and she still doesn't know anything about that mysterious girl that got rid of Rotten Reality and Heartless. Hmm. I wonder if she's related to Rotten Reality. I don't know. Let's keep going. There's another view of the stream. Wonder, wonder what those metal things are, or steel. Are there car pipes? Hmm. I just thought today's episode we just go on a nice country walk for a real change and it's what i really want to do more often with you to be honest with you gets us out of the gets out of the house go exploring i've just been too busy to go on a lot of long walks but maybe in 2024 we'll definitely go out more often get some fresh air and it sounds like there's a helicopter coming I can actually tell you something about this path. This used to be a railway line and that building there used to be a station, I believe, or one of those 
shed boxes that you took you change the signals and points so this path what i'm walking on now used to be a railway line years ago i've learned about it when i went to the wall the exhibition place at the national exhibition center last year with harry murray i've seen like a model version of it and here's a picture of it i took last year when i was there so it's nice to see some different environments for a change I wonder if this was the area where Rotten Reality was hiding all of this time, along with Heartless. I don't know. This episode was originally going to be filmed on my Nikon camera, but I forgot to put the batteries in. I even got my Nikon camera in my bag. So I'm filming this episode on my phone instead today. So makes a change not really felt done an episode on my phone for a while this is so incredibly peaceful around here maybe that's the reason why i never could find rotten reality back then because maybe this was his area the entire time or maybe that creepy monster guy or someone Lewis Log 49 a long while ago back. This space around here used to be a leisure centre, it used to be. You used to have a swimming pool. I don't know if it had a gym back then. It was demolished around two, three years ago because a new leisure centre not far away from here has been built. I have come to this original leisure centre place years ago, around 2007. A long, long time ago, before I even started high school, in 2010. I wonder what this is here. I wonder if that's where Rotten Reality's there was, through that hole. And since the local authorities knows about Rotten Reality's secret, it's been covered up and been buried ever since. So that's where Rotten Reality's headquarters was when Natasha was kidnapped. And sadly as well, where Queen Was Wendy died. It all makes perfect sense now. Sorry, I thought there was something crawling on my hand for a second. We'll walk further down this path. And there is something towards the end of this path that I'll show you. Don't worry, it's not a wasp's nest. Not an old hornet's nest either. It's a nice surprise with a nice view. I wonder if background noises like these might be a good idea for an ASMR video that someone can do. Just to let you know, changing the subject, you can see these like plants. They'll attract yellow jackets the most, wasps and bees. Yeah, as you can see, I can see a few of them up there, I think. Best stay well away from plants like those. And I'm getting the tingles as well. Yeah, they'll attract yellow jackets very easily, those plants will. So you learn something new there. It's a lot more peaceful now that the fact that Rotten Reality's dead, thanks to that mysterious girl. I wonder if I'll ever see that mysterious girl again. 
Maybe she's a rare legendary person or something. Hmm. I don't think Queen Was Wendy would have known her either. Even if Rotten Reality and Heartless didn't rip her wings off and beaten her to death. We'll never know. We'll never know, I guess. Now we have reached the end of the path. This is what I want to show you all. A big lake out here. Look at that. There's some swans. Yeah, they're definitely swans. Geeses would have just an orange beak only, where swans would have these black bits on their mouths and face as well. Isn't this such a lovely sight on an autumn day? Are those are baby swans over there. They're not seagulls. I don't know. I haven't got any bread for you, unfortunately. Apparently, you're not supposed to feed ducks and geese and swans bread, I've heard of. It's not good for them, apparently, if you didn't know that. So that's how you, you wash yourself, eh? in the water and you don't have to pay water bills it's really peaceful out here i wish everywhere was like this we should appreciate we get certain environments like these because some people are worst off without Lakes like these, all nice and clean, no litter. Some countries probably don't have scenery yet, environments like these. Australia, definitely not. Canada, you'll definitely get probably bigger places like this, similar to this place in Canada. And speaking of Can Can Canada, there's some Canadian geese over there. We've seen them before, but it's been a while, isn't it, now? A little while ago, a place like this with the scenery view it reminds me a bit of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I think it's just the similar trees and sky colour. And it has a massive lake as well. It does remind me a bit of Harry Potter and the, and, and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I watched all of the Harry Potter movies last year. I did last Christmas in 2022. Isn't this such a beautiful scenery with the calm water I've seen one of those ducks before but I can't remember what they're called Is that the air ambulance up there? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it is the air ambulance. It's flying quite low, it is. 